Hello everyone, my name is Zinus Silas and welcome to episode 6 of Hand of Fate. We just completed the High Priestess and we have three missions that we can do. Uh, let's go for the middle one, let's try the Lovers. Uh, the Lovers, keep Oswin safe from his murderous lover. Undead lackeys, Oswin's lover will send an army of skeletons to bring him back. Share food. If he's with you, Osborne will eat one food every step if he's injured. Crowd control. Dominate a fight with artifacts. Okay. Ah, so we can't bring a companion. But we can bring a ton of cards. What should we bring? I can... I can actually bring the brimstone cards. Not sure that would be wise. Yeah, let's not bring them for now. Uh, what do we actually have? Shrine, I don't know what that does, so I'll bring that. Uh, in fact, a bunch of these, I don't know what they do. Let's take Empire Contacts, don't know what that does. Uh, burning Building, I'm going to avoid for now. Uh, I, uh, let's go for some food ones. That's a reveal map. That's the hammer. Gold. Gain resources from deep water, maybe. Ooh, Distressed Damsel gives us food. Might do that one. Uh, friendly Innkeeper. What else? Don't want any of them. I will... I might take Popper's Plague. Might take Raider Ambush. Might take that. I'll take the Temple Prayers. I'll take the Old Maiden. Uh... What else shall I take? What about gold? I take distressed da damsel. Uh, do I want deep water? I take arm wrestling. Also grab market thief. Deep water. And probably a man of the world. Oh, I can't bring out an extra platinum. Let's leave man the world, maybe. Or should I take it instead of the shrine? Let's take man the world, because I'd like to see the map this time. What else? Gnomish, lost boy. I'll take the pauper's plague, why not? Uh, now we get to choose weapons. Um. First things first, I would like to get Exquisite Blade, because you can sell that. Uh, undead, so would that... what would that be? Do we have anything for that? Let's go... let's get some things we don't understand then, yeah. What's this? Ah, oh, it's tight pockets. I will take... Quite a few rings. Ring of food. Gambler's jewel. Let's also take... Let's take all the rings. Let's just stock up on things that we don't understand yet. Armor of gluttony I think I'm going to avoid because I imagine that would hurt your food. Uh, I don't really care about the ages. Let's take biddy clubs. Cardinal blade. Humble hammer. And I guess I will. Uh, I'll take the ages, actually. That should hopefully be fine. Ah, supplies. Ooh, we can actually get the fine sword as a starting weapon now. That's interesting. Uh, game 5 food I'll definitely take. But I'm also tempted to take the blades. Because I'm a bit more fond of those blades, really. You can really do some damage with them. Although I don't know what you can do with the fine sword. Let's take the fine sword. Although, do I have any shields to complement that? Not particularly. So let's get rid of the hammer, the cardinal blade, the clubs. Keep the exquisite blade, and let's stock up on two shields. 
and then maybe put the video clubs back in. That should be good. Yep, let's go ahead and start with that. In the darkness of my temple, I labored upon this game, devoted to its mysteries, plundering its secrets, crafting it anew for every foe who faced me. One if time. I have ever loved, it is the love of service to a greater ideal. And that was how we fell in love. In retrospect, the potatoes had nothing to do with it. I merely wished to speak of their starchy beauty. Oh god. Why is he... Three moons ago, you came into the company of Oswin, the potato farmer. He had grabbed your arm and explained that his beloved wanted to send him to the final death of Jesus, so that they could be together in eternity. His desperate eyes and the promise of his family's magical sword convinced you to accompany him. Now, you walk the road to his village, where he claims that he will be safe from his dearest sweet potato. The farmer gnaws at a raw potato. Coin slave, could we visit my kin on the way to Nightshade Corpse? Remember, ha rumour has it that he's made some kind of magic exploding ball. He scribbles a note on your map. But I guess we have to. The farmer crunches thoughtfully on a potato. Do we have to visit? No, but he tends to get quite crabby if you don't visit him while I'm in the area. Okay, uh, what's going to happen to your farm? Oh, my farm isn't here, it's in Nightshade Corps, where we're heading. I was merely visiting the city for the region's biannual root vegetable festival. Okay, continue on our journey. Ooh. Oh, Oswin's got a health bar up there. You wonder just how easy it would be to keep Oswin alive. Oh, great. Goblins. They get in everywhere. You arrive at an overturned cart propped up by a large log. Well, here we are. Oswin knocks on top of the cart. Uncle, it's Oswin. A goblin, poorly disguised as a human, scurries out from behind the cart. You note no surprise that either Oswin nor the goblin's face. So they're not surprised. Oswin, my boy, have you come to see my exploding doodads? Before anyone can agree or protest, the goblin pulls a lit bomb from his robe and flings it into the forest. The bomb explodes spectacularly against a boulder. You there, the goblin squints at you. Watch out for monsters. This forest is simply ripe with them. He taps his staff upon the ground and the undead begin to crawl from a swirling portal. Seriously? The goblin gives you a ge genial smile as he places the bomb in your hands. He pats Osmond on the arm and then jumps up into the portal with a little whoop. So, he's summoned eight skeletons. Great, thanks, Osmond's uncle. Holy purification, so throw a bomb that causes 80 damage to undead enemies. So artifact requires careful aim. Powerful combat item with limited number of uses. And that looks like an unlimited amount of uses. Okay, whatever you say so. The portal closes, leaving you surrounded by the walking dead, holding a bomb and with a potato farmer at your side. Yeah, no, that doesn't sound too good. Oh, is it? He's even got a potato in his picture. This man really loves potatoes. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> what are we doing here? This is. There he is. Jesus. Oswin. His love for potato is unrivaled and unyielding. Christ. Uh, artifact, right bumper. Okay. Oh. Um. Well then. Unlimited uses of that I will take. I wonder if it can hurt me if I get caught in the radius. I'll take that. Oswin's uncle appearing behind you with that of sound, taking the curiously enchanted bomb from your hand and replacing it with a near identical one. Wait, what the hell? Hmm. The oh. flim flam of holy men. Do with it as you will. So, we don't have unlimited juices, we've only got three of these things. When they're powerful, that's good. I guess I'll keep that. He then gives you both a forceful pinch on the cheek and disappears under the overturned cart. Oswin seems wholly unperturbed by the happenings. You continue on your journey. Your uncle's a weirdo, Oswin. There again, Not so the you. most reliable of companions, it would have to be said. Ugh. 
You wake one night to the sound of Oswin's muffled screams. The undead surround the potato farmer. They appear to be attempting a kidnapping, but are doing a shambolic job of it. One skeleton is shoving a cloth in Oswin's mouth, while the other one swings a sword wildly. Oh god, it's one of these. That one? No, nope, failure. With the thud of a rusted shield against your temple, you black out. When you come to, Oswin and his skeletal kidnappers are gone. So where's he gone? Oh, okay. Oswin's time is limited. Oh, great. We're coming on... Ooh. Okay, so he takes 10 damage, I see. Can we sell anything? I'm not selling the bombs. Um... We've got eight food. Do I want to... What equipment's for sale? So, we've got the ring of food. You get food again. Uh, whoops. I didn't want to look at that one anymore. Dark groove ring. The rate enemies heal during combat is reduced. That's an interesting ring. Gambler's jewel. Add two to your final score during dice gambits. That's not bad. Really clubs. So that knocks down Thebes and its light. So it's basically, I think, a slightly better version of the blades, maybe? And it's got a token on it. Let's ignore that for now. I shall leave the shopkeeper. Let's go save Oldsman. Terrible things stand between you and your quest. You find Oswin face down in the forest, a half-eaten tuber by his side. He is unconscious, barely breathing, his lips tinged blue. <laughs> Force a potato in Oswin's mouth, pour water on him, or taste the strange vegetable for yourself. Uh... Potato? Oh, it's a dice gambit. Back to the bones. I, did it. I hope you have learned to be their master. As you place a potato in Oswin's mouth, his jaw snaps shut. You remove your fingers just in time. Barely acknowledging you, Oswin begins to frantically search the area. With a cry of relief, he leaps behind a tree. You help the weary farmer to his feet. You keep a close eye on the potato farmer. Surely, you think, he won't get kidnapped again. Great. Goddamn potato lunatic. Huh. In case you're wondering whether I take it personally, these purges of the corrupt. Indeed I do. Oh. How could I not? That's a good point. You're corrupt as well, aren't you? I think that's something to do with the first game, as far as I understand. Uh, the town crier announces the Empire seeks mercenaries to join the battle against corruption. You seek out the watchtower, where recruitment is taking place. Okay. You arrive in time to hear Sir Manaflower's plan to wipe out the pauper district. The outbreak began there, and we cannot risk sparing any of their lives, he says. Sir Manifal and the Green leads the mercenaries to the pauper district, where the poor and sick have been walled off from the rest of the city. As you hear the wailing of the corrupted, Sir Manifal gives you command to charge. Um, sure, I'll help you. You find yourself surrounded by the corrupted. You draw your weapon and set to your feet. Do I have to bring Oswin into this? Yeah, I do. Okay. Wish I could have a companion. Stay away from the big guy, Oswin. Please stay away. I check. I can't even see him. Maybe Oswin isn't here. Oh, no. no, there he is. Well, I'm very awkwardly next to these soldiers. Whatever. any Empire soldiers even. Not a clue. 
Please give me some food, as we need to heal. Sir Malifal commends you for your bravery and offers you a reward. So I've got two Thame and ten gold. And another ten gold. Okay, that's fine by me, I guess. Um, let's try this right one. Do what you can to find yes. more food. This is my favourite card by far. The Temple of Divine Providence provides blessings in exchange for a simple gold donation. I'll make a donation. Uh, what we got? Gambler's Banquet. Four food every time you do a dice gambit. Fifteen life every gold gain. Max life less than 150, discard food? No. Gain up 20 gold at the beginning? No. After six combats against Northerners, draw five gain cards and discard this card. You know what? I think I'll take this one. Gambler's Banquet. Four food every dice gambit. Sure. Let's hope I have some dice gambits. You leave with your new blessing. Uh, should I camp and maybe buy some food? Let's leave it for now. Food is ever the driving force behind success. You arrive at a village during their market fair. Enter the fair. Vegetables spill from baskets, and the air has a cosy smell of freshly baked bread and butter. Oswin immediately wanders off. Oswin, stay away from potatoes! Uh, fine, I'll go find Oswin. You spot Oswin trading a fistful of gold for a meagre snack of vegetables. The stall's owners are clearly bandits. They chuckle and count the coins, not believing their luck. Oswin tries to jam a potato in a sack already full to bursting. He looks up and gives you a little wave. You worry about the road ahead. Oh, Oswin. Oswin, why? You just got Friends scammed. will get you in trouble. I there can is see a that. reason I prefer to travel alone. Yet here we are, making this journey together. Well, you don't have to deal with Oswin. Stop and see what Jesus. Oswin has to say, perhaps. Ugh. The road to Nightingale Corpse winds through the forest and small towns. So this is a little camp thing. A small peasant family journeying to the capital joins your campfire. She has the most beautiful face, you know. And in the evening, we talk about potatoes until the sun came up. Oswin breaks down into soft sobs. Ah, oh, he's got such an obsession with potatoes. Uh, do I have anything to sell yet? No. Let's, let's buy some food. Wow, that's expensive. I'll buy it. I'll take your free food. I'll also buy your one food for six gold, I guess. And I shall finish trading. Review mission. You're journey closer and closer to Oswin's home. The next stop is the Dainty Fox Inn. Head to Nightshell Corpse where Oswin will be safe from his lover. Uh, break camp. I'm poor as hell now. At least I got food. Not this again. The shopkeeper nods to you as you enter. Adventurer, how's the world out there? Uh, terrible, mate. You've got cheaper food than what I was previously offered. Now I feel terrible. Um... I, I definitely don't have anything to sell, I don't know why I'm bothering checking that. Buy equipment. Is there anything I can learn about? Extinguisher. 40% less damage from fire. That could be useful. But I can't afford anything, because I'm poor as hell. Not again! You awoke one morning to find Oswin completely vanished. Oswin's in trouble. Oh, I don't even have a... Oh, he's right close to me anyway. That's fine. Oswin's time is limited. See that. Ah, distressed Zams. The road ahead is blocked by an overturned carriage and a woman calling for help. Please help, she cries. I've been robbed by a band of thugs. Is there anything you can do? Oh, if I roll for this, I get food, don't I? I think I have a blessing for that. I do. Please let me throw the die. Um, I'll re-roll the two. Yes! I barely did it. A win here sets the tone for your challenge. Thank you, the woman says as you help her from the carriage. Please, accept this as a token of my gratitude. Ten food, yes! And another free food, so much food! You thank the woman and continue on your way. Oh, I'm so happy, this is so much food. I feel like Oswin and a potato. Love was always difficult. This seems more trouble than you might expect, however. You find Oswin surrounded by bandits swinging his pitchfork wildly and threatening to use their tailbones to till the farm. 
Uh, oh, I could have actually used the lighter weapons for this. So I'm against four thieves and an anarchist of greed. I'm glad I got all that food though, because now if Oswin gets messed up, I can heal him. Although I wonder if he doesn't heal if you don't have any food, or if he takes excess damage if you don't have any food. That would be messed up. Oswin, stay away from the thieves. Ooh. Win. What did he do to you? Oh god. Gotcha. Oh, the bomb's actually on the side of it. You search the bodies for anything of use. Got some equipment. Was it blade? Truly I can sell a thing that. of beauty and immaculate craftsmanship. I don't want to equip it, though. But is it merely for show? Free food. Oh. You keep a close eye on the potato farmer. Surely you think he can't get kidnapped again. So I've got full fame and I can heal him now. Um, sure, let's heal. A small peasant family journeying to the capital joins your campfire. Uh, I will only heal Oswin. Twice, maybe. You give Oswin one of your pasties. Pasties. He is slightly crestfallen when he bites into it to discover that it's only apple. Sorry, I don't have any potato ones. Have another pasty. Um, still only apple, I'm afraid, Oswin. You're going to have to heal the same rate as I do in a minute. Let's trade. Sell the exquisite blade. 50 gold. Yes. Uh, buy equipment. Ooh, a nice shield. Damage against corrupted. Uh, oh, that's only the corrupted. That's not the undead, is it? Reduces my movement speed. Use defend to block from attacks from ranged enemies. Eh, that's a bit expensive. I'm going to pass that for now. Finish trading. And I will. Do I want to. I'll leave it for now. Break camp. I don't want to heal him again so early. You run into Oswin's goblin uncle. He beckons you over to a tree stump. As you approach, he places two items side by side on the stump. One will make your enemies your friends. The other is poison. Which shall you drink? Quickly, quickly, choose. There is a bomb and a bottle marked poison. I'll take the bomb. Many are traitors in their hearts. Oh, this is a different if bomb. If you know men, you know betrayal. So this bomb causes enemies to fight at my side for 10 seconds. It doesn't affect elite enemies. Uh, so you got to throw it, I guess. And it's only got three uses. I don't want to equip it. The goblin watches expectantly until you feign drinking the bomb. Satisfied with the proceedings, the old goblin gives you a little wave and climbs up a nearby tree. A band of skeletons emerge from the thicket. Great. Horde of skulls? Okay. You ready your weapon. So five skeletons add a horde of skulls. Whatever they are, that is. Time for some bombs, I guess. Hopefully I throw it right. Oh, they got shields. Okay. Returned. Raised from end of sleep to fight once more. Skeletons are weak, but come armed with an assortment of equipment, making preparations for combat challenging. Vulnerable to holding. Uh... There? Ooh, I got all but one. Hey! <laughs> oh, that was easy. So much for the skeletons, although I don't know if I should be using these bombs. 
You continue your journey, wondering how you'll next encounter Oswin's goblin uncle. Oh, great. Not again. You wake one night to the sound of Oswin's muffled screams. The undead surrounding the potato farmer, they appear to be attempting a kidnapping, but are doing a shambolic job of it. One skeleton is shoving a cloth in Oswin's mouth, while another swings a sword wildly. Please let me actually get that. Is it this one? Yes! You quickly rise to your feet and draw your weapon. So, seven of skulls and a horde of skulls. I think I will use a bomb again. I'm not liking the amount he's getting kidnapped. Uh, I... I'll do it on the large horde. Oh god, they come back. Oswin! Don't throw things at my Oswin. Great, he's going to be chewing through my food again. Although I hope I've got enough to actually keep him sated. You rummage through the bones for anything of use. 15 max life. Sure. 25 life for me. Ooh, reveal free encounters. Nice. Um, sure. The skeleton's dispatched. You fall quickly back to sleep. So, a man in the world, I think, reveals the maps. That's pointless going to that. That'd just be a waste of food, right? So, Empire Contacts, I don't know, and onwards is the next zero, I think. So, let's go to Empire Contacts. Use the Empire to provide the fodder for your own challenges. I understand. You visit your contact in the Imperial Armory. You must be planning for trouble if you've come to me for help, he says with a knowing grin. Tell me, who are you hunting? I'll see what I can find in the vault of contraband items. Um, thieves, corrupted northerners, or lead. Uh, skeletons aren't technically corrupted. I might take that anyway. Corrupted. You outline your plans to hunt the corrupted. Something came in just yesterday, he comments, heading into the vault. Bastion of purification. Okay, I'll take that. Oh. I could get in a lot of trouble if anyone finds out I took it from the vault. I'll have it sent to you when I can. Pay 20 gold for it now. Although that would be cheaper than the buy price. Um, I will leave it for now. Card will be put on the top. You leave the armory. The dealer moves the card to the top of the deck. Chrome deck. I don't really think it's worth 20 gold, and I might need to buy exorbitant amounts of food at this rate. You arrive at a sleepy inn, knowing the locals as the Dainty Fox. Known to the locals as the Dainty Fox. Uh, let's, sure, let's go in the inn. Oswin disappears briefly and returns with a potato pasty. You watch him take one bite with a gusto. Oi! A growl echoes across the inn. A hulking northern that grabs your companion by the arm. That was my pasty, little man. The potato farmer looks up at his furious assailant, then down to the crisp, warm pastry. To your exasperation, he appears to be considering eating it anyway. Uh, sure, calm the north. What the f... What is this? The pendulum swings uh, like a scythe, bearing hope or fear. Okay. Gold or silver? Let's try the gold one. Got it! Ooh. Nicely timed. You cobble together a speech linking the liberty of the pasty with the freedom of those in the Empire willing to stand up and take it. The northers are moved to tears. One grabs your face in his enormous gnarled hands and blesses you with a gentle headbutt. You gain two things. Ooh, and this. Huge failure is considered failure in the precision gambits. That could be handy, I guess. You rest a while before continuing your journey. Not again, Oswin. You wake one night to the sound of Oswin's muffled screams. The undead surround the potato farmer. They appear to be attempting a kidnapping, but are doing a shambolic job of it. One skeleton is shoving a cloth in Oswin's mouth, while the other swings a sword wildly. Great, this is... 
It's that one. No, it's not. Damn it. In the hubbub, someone loops a bag over your head, tying it tight. You struggle for a while before passing it out. When you come to, Oswin and his skeletal kidnappers are gone. Please don't be too far away. Ah, reasonably far away. Damn it, Oswin. Oswin's time is limited. So I think it's only per squib. Oh, he took seven damage that time rather than ten. Your opponent's in the third round is Parley, the brass hag. She touts herself as a fearsome pirate, but needs the money from this competition to get herself a boat. Okay, so this is the next round of the competition then from the previous one. Ooh, I get more food, sweet. Uh, that was a poor roll. I'll re-roll two of you. Fourteen, just about. Ooh, we did it. The brass hag cannot live up to the strength of her name and slumps in defeat. I gain two fame. Ten gold. Another ten gold. And another ten gold. We've got too much gold. You take your reward from the purser on the way out of the tavern when you realise you will compete in the next round for a larger prize. Oh, uh, when you return. You'll compete. Okay, that's fine. More gold is fine. That's ten damage to him. Uh, walking through a shady forest, you encounter a frail old maiden. She stops to greet you. For centuries I have helped the mortals who find themselves lost in my forest. Is there anything that may help you with your journey? I don't need any more gold, but I will take some supplies. This should sustain you for a few days, she says, squinting at you with tired eyes. Five food. Sweet. I'm coming, Oswin. He will keep getting himself in trouble, it seems. Yeah. Following tracks and hearsay, you find Oswin hanging from a ledge far above a gaping ravine. Oh, thank the gods! Your companion is white as sheet. Quick, help me up before they return. They think I'm dead. Oh, God. That one. Got it. You heave Osbin over the ledge to safely. Safety. You lie there, exhausted, covered in cold sweat. Oh, great, they are here. The thud of a spear beside your head heralds the skeleton's arrival. So they are still coming. Great. Uh, do I have any bombs left? I'm not liking these skeletons. Except for when I kill them all immediately. Could I maybe group them up? Uh, that. Yay! Okay, that's the way to do it. That's definitely the way to do it. Make sure they're grouped up, then throw them on. But now I also don't know how many bombs I've left. You rummage through the bones for anything of use. Equipment card. So I can take the extinguisher or the bastion of purification. I'll take the bastion, please. And I will equip it. And five food. Sweet. Oswin pokes a pile of bones. It's quite nice that she'd send all this to get me back. He looks quite pleased to remote for remembering the skeletons were trying to kill him. You keep a close eye on the potato farmer. Surely, you think, he won't get kidnapped again. I, I should hope not. I'm going to heal him fully. A small peasant family journeying to the capital joins your campfire. Um, heal Oswin. Yeah, just have your apple pasty slash pastries. I will heal you fully, Oswin. There you go. Uh, let's trade. Buy equipment. What have you got? A shield. No, thank you. I will ignore that. Peasants have little to trade. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I won't buy any more food, because that seems a bit wasteful, so I just finished trading. Potato Farmer hums a harvest song as you let the day's worries leave you. Review mission. You've almost arrived at Nightshade Cops. Oh, okay, so we're almost there. Maybe I should buy a little bit more food. Oops, that's the equipment screen. That's expensive, but well, I'll take two of them, just in case, because he does take exorbitant amounts of damage. Finish trading. Let's break camp. Uh, where am I going? Let's go right. The final reunion. Ooh. How fitting and how sweet. With a shout of relief, Oswin announces that Nightshade Corpse is just over the hill. I kind of want to keep exploring. I'm going to keep exploring. I hope that this means Oswin... Oh, great. You awake one night to the sound of Oswin's muffled screams. You sigh as another platoon of skeletons drag Oswin away into the forest. He seems somewhat resigned to it now, not struggling so much. God damn it, Oswin. Failure. 
With a thud of rusted shield against your temple, you black out. When you come to, Oswin and his skeletal kidnappers are gone. Oswin's in trouble. Maybe I should have just gone there. Ooh, he takes damage even when I'm on a already known tile. You run into Goswin's goblin uncle. He beckons you over to a tree stump. The goblin reaches out a wrinkled hand. An artifact, if you will. Give him one of my artifacts. Oh, you have to give him one. Well, this one's pretty much dead, so let's just give him it. Yeah, no uses. He bashes the artifact a few times with his stuff, then shakes it vigorously by his ear, as if listening for anything amiss. The artifact makes a worrying rattling sound as he does it. Then, without warning, the old goblin flings the artifact back at you, smacking into your shoulder. Ah, that makes sense, actually. The holy purification uses have been recharged. Okay, sweet. So just keep giving it away if you've run out. Gotcha. Although I think we're near the end of the mission now. Goodbye, dear one. Oswin's gum goblin uncle bows deeply, seats himself on the nearest tree stump, and proceeds to pointlessly annoy you. Ignore you. Uh... So that's a long for that. Uh, let's go save Osman. An awfully large number of undead Great. seem to wish to delay you. Oswin has clearly made some unusual choices. You find Oswin being dragged towards an open tomb by a cadre of skeletons. Please stop. I wonder if they can actually straight up kill him. I'm quite kind of concerned. Sure. Yep, that's that's a bashing. Bastion of purification. The owl has a wildly inventive craftsman. Uh, was a wildly inventive craftsman. Also, quite quite mad. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's. Oh, I think I misused the. Oh, try it. Got nearly all of them. There's only one left. Get him quick. There we go. Stop damaging goddamn potato farmer. Stop it. I think he might have hit him or whatever the hell he just threw. Please say you didn't hurt him. Nope, you did. You ride through the boats for anything of use. Some equipment. A shield. It's a thing no. you put in front of you so people don't hit you. I'm sure you can work it out. 15 gold. You wonder how it's possible for someone who would want to kill Oswin this much. Even if it is out of love. You keep a close eye on the potato farmer. Surely you think you won't get kidnapped again. Uh, I'm going to camp and get you healed, Oswin. Another small peasant family joining me. Oswin, just eat the apple pastries. I'm really glad I took all this food. Uh, I'll break camp. That'll be fine. Deep into while crossing a stone bridge, you suddenly find yourself confronted by a villainous band. Ooh! Anarchist of Greed and a Blight of Terror. You could stand and fight the scenes or throw yourself to the mercy of the river below. If I throw myself to the river, I will get food. Eh, I'm gonna stand and fight, they can't be that hard. There's only two of them, right? More potentially three of them, maybe, if you get two anarchists. Two anarchists, actually. Yep. Okay, Oswin just actually has a good point. I was meant to stay away from them. Um, oh, okay, dodge that. Please stay away from Oswin. Okay, he's gone. Say the big guy is not attacking my anyway. Get off my Osman.
Having spilled your enemy's blood, you search the bodies for anything useful. Bountiful games. The effect of all chance to gain cards are applied twice until you leave this level. Then discard the card. Ten life, so that means I think I get twenty. Sweet. Uh, can I get a food card, maybe? Nope. You wake one night to the sound of Oswin's muffled screams. You sigh as an obtuned skeleton drag Oswin away into the forest. He seems somewhat resigned to it now, not struggling so much. Please stop kidnapping him. It's that one, isn't it? Yes. You quickly rise to your feet and draw your weapon. Two hordes of skulls. Uh, do I want to use a bomb again? I think I got three of them. Maybe? Although if I just keep them free, yeah, that's quite a few of them actually. Are they all grouped up? No. Ow. They're not really grouped up at all. Let's just take them out. Whoa! No. Back. Not this the speed thing then. Oh, great, there's no one. Come on. There we go. Yep, that is it. I don't think any of them went for Oswin this time. You rummage through the bones of anything you use. Equipment card. Ooh, I have little trust in artifacts that breathe myself. So it's a really crap shield. Defend adds plus one to weapon charge. Every third step does not consume food. Use defend to block attacks from range enemies. Then up. Oh, so I get two equipment. That's impressive. Gain ten max life. For purely financial reasons, if nothing else. Gain ten max life while you have more blessings than curses. I will equip that. Sweet. And that's extra life for me. And even more life for me. The skeleton's dispatched, you fall back to sleep. That's an impressive card. Uh, small peasant family joining me again. Please just heal Osman. God, I'm really glad I took all this food. Great camp. What's down here? General store. Um, I will buy some food. If I prefer to gold, I'll buy 10 food. That way I surely can't go wrong at this point. Oh yeah, I had the double. I didn't realise that worked in the store. Okay, I definitely have enough food, surely. Sell equipment. Let's sell... Sell the Aegis. Because I'm not going to use it. Sell the shield, because I'm not going to use it. Everything else I might use. Uh, what are you selling? Nothing useful. That's just fire damage. Whoops. Uh, I will take Gambler's Jewel, actually. Plus two to dice gamblers. This piece has passed through more than a few hands. Every gambler loses eventually, even when the deck is stacked in their favor. Okay, let's leave. Uh, let's check out this last one. Ah, These market. tokens represent the expansion of the game. More options, more cards, more opportunities. That's fair enough. The Market Bazaar is a hive of activity. Traders from across the lands call out to passers-by, selling their wares. As the sun beats down on the crowded streets, you pause briefly to draw water from a fountain. You feel something tug on the inside of your tunic. Turning quickly, you discover a pickpocket making off with some of your belongings. Ooh, minus five gold. You jump to your feet and catch a glimpse of the thief as he weaves through the crowd. Ooh. Failure. Bollocks. The tangled maze of people proves too much for you, and the thief makes her escape. I was hoping that'd be a dice gambit one. Damn it. Well, on with Oswin. True love transcends life. True revenge also. With a shout of relief, Oswin announces that Nightshade Corpse is just over the hill. Let's go. The village looks abandoned. The sky darkens. In the town square stands a beautiful woman, her skin grey and mottled. You feel a sudden chill in the air. The woman's voice grates and hisses as if long unused. Dearest Oswin, you have come for me. Entranced, the potato farmer takes a step. You grab his shoulder, breaking the spell. The woman squints in your direction. Oswin, who is this? Your companion looks to you, still in a daze. 
you notice that somehow he is clutching a potato. Jesus Christ. Osmin grips the potato in both hands. He looks back at his lover in defiance. This is my friend. A heartbroken screech wrenches from the woman as she doubles over in pain. Horrified, you watch as her face twists in the hollows as her limbs lengthen until beyond you stands a shade swelling with fury. Oh, God. It's a bunch of skeletons of a shade. The ghostly figure lifts her arms as she begins to rise into the air. Please survive, Osman. Uh, so the skeleton's going to keep coming back. Maybe. This is a boss fight that's going to make that quite difficult. There she is. Oswin's lover is a wraith. Wraiths can drain life with an unavoidable spell. Attack them quickly to stop the attack. Whoa. Okay. Ow. Uh, I don't know if that will affect the woman. No, it doesn't. Good to know. Oh, she's dead. Please stop attacking, husband. Come on. She's so close. Yeah, we got her. Ah, she's flailing at me. Stop it. Oh, there she goes. Is that it? Husband kneels over the body of the wraith and begins to weep. As a soft rain falls on the village square, you quietly leave the man to his grief. Oh, that was it. Sweet. What do we get? A tale of love concludes with death, as they ever do. Okay. Uh, fetid fens, exploding doodads, goblin, ret goblin retainer, and road to the goblin town. So exploding, exploding doodads is probably good if we need to recharge uses on something. Although I'm not sure what would happen if you don't have a grenade to give them. For saving Oswin the potato farmer, I get holy purification. Oh, sweet. Traitor's Urge, Bloodletting Vile, Dark Thirst, and Blinding Brew. Ooh, I'm going to have to try that weapon. Uh, interesting, though. So we can actually bring the grenades along in the equipment. For your benevolence in battle, your supplies have been added to Healing Spirits. Okay, sweet. That went really well. Quite happy with that. We unlocked anything else? Here the hermit hides and with him the secrets that underpin your history. We will explore them together. Okay, so we did get a couple more. Strength, the Hermit, and the Will. Well, that was quite interesting. Anyway, thank you for watching everyone. My name has been Xeno Simless. This has been episode six, I think, of Hand of Fate 2. We just completed the Lovers. Join me next time when we take on some sort of new challenge and hopefully you don't have to deal with anyone with potatoes anymore.